Angela Hill. Our first fight card. Oh, it was. <laughs> Every fight card ever. <laughs> Every time Angela Hill comes up, our first fight card. <laughs> I'm going to focus on uh, Miss Amanda Lemnos first up. She's supposed to be fighting Nina Nunes. Oh, we got straight time. into it. Cool. Yep. Yeah, and is that okay? That's well, fine you were by complaining me. about the time, and now I go straight back no, in. I thought you were going to do a break and then go back into it, like you usually do, just split it up easier. Haven't you seen my world class editing that I've done lately? It can it can happen. I can do Fair it. Enough. I can do it. I'll just cut anything Alex says out of it. <laughs> She's supposed to be fighting Nina Nunes, who I reckon Nina Nunes is a tougher fight personally. She's four and one in the UFC, lost her debut. Uh, she's on a four fight win streak. This is her third fight of twenty twenty. Some of these girls fight a lot. Don't they? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Considering a lot of them go the cards, they're surprising how much they do fight. Well, it's Good like on them. How Good much, on them. I feel like there's only a select amount of um, fighters in these women's division that actually like do a lot of damage. You know what I mean? I feel like that's why they recover so quick because I feel like there's not heaps of damage being done. You're probably right. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, I agree with that. But then again, they... they, they I don't know. Mm. It'd be, it's different for women. Maybe they just. It? I mean, I don't know. We're we're kind of living in the era of the all due respect, the pussy fighters. Mm-hmm. No one wants to just get in there and fight. Everyone just wants to. Oh, they want to fight this guy that makes sense yeah. and whatnot. And these people are like because a lot of these um a lot of these girls are like pushing. You know, hoping to look for the next champion. Oh, they, yeah. they probably don't want to versus the Bullet or Amanda. No. Yeah. Now there's Pena, so you know there's always an option for a. <laughs> In, in people's eyes, maybe a more beatable champion. Yeah. Yeah, well, what's the bet? Like, if Pena wins the rematch, all of these women fighters are going to become incredible all of a sudden, and they're, like, gunning for Pena. Oh, yeah. Everyone, no one everyone's a bantamweight. <laughs> <laughs> How much do you weigh? 115. What are you? Bantamweight. <laughs> <laughs> what's Rose training? What was yeah. she doing? In <laughs> um... Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, so she started out, uh, she was at Bantam White. She fought Leslie Smith on a day, but this is Lemnos I'm talking about here. So if yeah. this thing actually does work, she got toweled up, right? So this is Leslie Smith of all people. Look how tired she looks. Yeah, she is gassed. Okay, oh, this is round two. Elbows, man, far out. That says that's Leslie Smith yeah. that that's happening to, and that's in round two. So anyway, so she's like a street fighter. You see her when she's she's fighting. Her yep. first fight wasn't bantamweight. She couldn't KO. She did. She cracked Leslie a few times with some good ones, but couldn't KO. Yep. She had a two-year Asada holiday at Hotel de la Sada, <laughs> and then she dropped a straw weight. Seemed to keep a power, mm. and she's just overpowered, almost like a bully kind of thing. And she's overpowered all opponents. So she had one sub. She had two KO wins. Okay. Now now, this is some old footage. This is me going off topic here. I was watching some old old fights. Have a look at this KO knee. If these are ads, i got to get YouTube. YouTube frame. muted already. Huh? No, oh, here we good. go. Um, have a look how soft this KO knee is. I appreciate okay. the Rocky Balboa uh, training <laughs> okay. montage. This is Lemnos here in the pink, okay? Yeah. Check out this knee. Oh, <laughs> I think she wasn't even initially tried to kick her. Was she that, did not was that the softest? That. Was that the softest knee? Yeah. Hang on, where we go back a bit. It did look pretty soft. What? Oh. <laughs> that was it. But it's because she's coming down at the same yeah. time. It's because she's coming down. Yeah. She just tapped her with the knee. What? It's just a tap. Yeah. If I'm only giving. It looks how, it was, it was, that's how I would knee someone with this <laughs> knee in this condition right now. I thought you were going to say at full health. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing. Which, yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't be able to get in that ring. I couldn't get up those stairs there at the moment. Still not going well. Anyway, so um, that. Uh, what else? There's something else in there. I hope your surgeon fun. listens to this one day when he's <laughs> consistently bagging out your, your how bad your knee is. My surgeon's fine. He's a delight, and so is my physio. Shout out to Dave Dawes, everyone. <laughs> you might know him from My House Rules or something, whatever it's called. Anyway, oh yeah, uh, 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 here we go. So this is this is I found this funny, right? They're fighting here. Why do they blur our faces? Is there a murder or something going on here? Have See? They? Oh, oh yeah, what the hell? Or maybe it's just one forty four p. No, no, it turns into a murder. <laughs> no, they do have a blur over the. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> I can't tell. How's that? Check out that follow up when she drops her. That's over. <laughs> oh, that follow up. God damn. That's probably why. She's trying to kick her away. <laughs> no, she's still fighting. 
That's probably why they blurted out it was a murder. Yeah. Um, her early fights are with grapplers, and she just um, she just dominates. She just she's a puncher. She's a very good puncher, which is so interesting. Cause usually, the grapplers take advantage in that scenario. Yeah. I'm not when I say the grapplers. I'm not saying how good they were at grappling, <laughs> but they were they were grappling yeah. based yeah. people. So she's got a high volume of kicks, but uh, gas is early. I don't know, hopefully she's done something with the cardio because, um, yeah, mm. it hasn't been. It does, definitely hasn't been good. It's been better at um, at straw weight, but still not great. Yeah. She's Ange, up, she's up against Ange. Hit me. Tell me something about Ange. Seven and eight in the UFC. Jeez, she's ranked twelve. Ranked twelve or seven and eight. Jesus Christ. Yep. <laughs> Okay, in Feb 2020, she was talking about a title shot. Do you remember? Yep. Yeah. She was all set for this title shot. Which would have made her, <laughs> at that point, if you... Uh, what? She would have been six and... I can't do math. Yeah. Uh, what? what are we looking at? What have I written I so far? Like, like, no, just talking about title shot since then, one and three. <laughs> one and three. Yeah, well, she has. Yeah. Um, she's... Uh, it, oh, business, looking at the business side of things here, it's not great for the UFC if he'll win. Because she's no. never going to make a run, and if this girl Lemos is, is is on like a what is she on a four but fight like, win streak? She's one of the, she's one of those fighters that has been around for oh. a long time. Fights every fight. They pushed like, her. They promoted they, her, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, originally, and now she's just become that fighter that's been around for a long time. Like everyone knows who she is. She fights on every bloody card. Like it's just she's one of those fighters now. You know what I mean? Like, and like fight. if you. Four in 2019, four in 2020, yeah. and we're looking at a third, third in 2021. You, if you come up Good against, honor. Good if, honor, if you're yeah. an up and comer, you're yeah. always going to verse her. Yeah, like if you're if you're a woman up and comer, you know? she's pretty well rounded, but not great at anything. Mm. She was well, she was pretty good in the knockouts there for a while, wasn't yeah. she? Yeah, she had her moments. I think I think that probably what you've said is a good statement. She's really she I has a lot of good statements. Me or him? Uh, him. Okay, <laughs> she has mixed the martial arts well. She's not bad at everything she does. Is that the cups? I like that? the cups. Yeah, they're awesome. Um, but that's the thing. She doesn't excel at anything. She doesn't have great wrestling and good hands or okay hands. She yeah. doesn't have great hands and okay or passable grappling and whatnot. She kind of just like dabbles in everything, which is fine. It's good to be a well-rounded fighter, yeah. but she has nothing to fall back on. Yeah, just She's average in everything. everything. No, yeah. all around her. I was having a look at her career earnings. Now, tell me this. Have you ever heard a woman, uh, a female in the UFC, bitch about her fighter pay? Never. Um, I've never heard any of it. I feel like Nunes said at one point she wants to get paid. <coughs> I think Paige Van Zant at one point oh, good. said All right. well, once she retired. Go and lose a BKFC and on once page. she left the UFC, she was like, yeah, I make more money on OnlyFans than I ever have in fighting. Yeah, of course like she that. is. She's stunning. And she's sending half nude photos for like 10 bucks a month or 15 yeah, bucks a month. Where do you go? Where do you go from there? Because every day. You everyone, count your money. <laughs> No, 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 but where do you go with your OnlyFans? You can only push it. You can't do the same thing over and over I've seen this before. Yeah. Isn't it just her Instagram, pretty much? I think you were telling uh, yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, apparently, allegedly, mm. according to <laughs> 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 Are you subscribed? Oh, God, no. Is, have you ever this subscribed? Man- <laughs> oh, I'm going to cut that out. Oh, Jeez. yeah, don't say that. Yeah, shit. No, I didn't even realise. Geez. I say that way too often. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, that's not great. <laughs> yeah, don't forget okay. All I was doing was looking at Angela Hill's pay here. So, right, even she's fighting three times a year. She's getting, like, I'm, t- I'm just looking at show money here because yeah. that's what I'm focused on. So, she's getting 21 grand, 24 grand. Um, when she headlined there, Watterson, she got 54 grand a headline. Jeez. I know, 54 grand uh, when she fought Yoda. And uh, Tisha Torres, um, she got she's 50. done all right, eh? She's done all right. Yeah. Well, on if you look at her career earnings, have just been over a million. You go, yeah, she's done all right. But when she kick off here, twenty fourteen. Okay, so what's that? Seven years. So in seven years, she's she's earned a million dollars. Oh, Take okay. out tax, you're down to seven hundred. Take out say two hundred thousand dollars for training. For, for training. So suddenly you're on five hundred. Apparently, um, the rule of thumb is you pay your coaches ten percent. Yeah, I believe that. But that's, that's then you the just got right here. cost of you got cost of living and everything on top of it. Yeah. I understand. Depends how she's living. Depends if she's buying Bentleys like half the guys <laughs> do when they when they get a title shop. That is true. So I, I worked it out. She's probably on about seventy thousand a year. She'll end up getting, which isn't great for someone that's had that many fights. No. Nah. And where do you go? She is custom made though for a, a UFC. Uh, like com- not commentator, but you know someone maybe like what like Oliveira a, does. Mm. Yeah, Megan. like Oliveira or Me- uh, Megan. Uh, don't know what her last name Oliveira. is. Oliveira. Oh, I was like, <laughs> I thought you were talking about Charles Oliveira. I was like, does he do that? I don't know. Maybe it's Oliveira, isn't it? 
It's uh, Megan Oliveira or maybe Oliveira. Oh, fuck, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I know the one. She's married to, um, what's the name of the guy who's had 20 title shots and never got it? Benavidez. She's married to her. Is oh, she? Um, yeah. Is uh, it Benavidez? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it is Benavidez. Joseph. What? Megan Olivi. That's her. You have to say me. Yeah. What did I say? I remember Oliveira. You said Oliveira. Oh, jeez. Dude, when I first got into watching UFC... When I, when I found out she was with someone, I was flat A. Yeah. Like, it full ruined my day. Yeah. Just don't know why. <laughs> Jesus, like, you guys. She, first time she popped up on UFC 1 on my screen when I was playing PlayStation. Yeah, she's married to I Joseph Benavides. I'll leave you. Jeez, I can't believe I got that name right. Anyway, <laughs> enough of that. Let's go. So, who are your tips? Um, yeah, I'm going uh, Lamos. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Lamos. I as circled it when I first got here. As much as I like Angela Hill, um, I think this is custom made for Lemnos. 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 Mm. Who the fuck is Lemnos? Okay, next up, we have, who we got? We got uh, Cub Swanson and Elkins, according to your notes. Darren the Damage.